In this video, we're going to show the bridge analyzer exhaust gas system and how all the various accessories are utilized that come with the analyzer. So the analyzer comes in a hard case. When we open it up, it should look like so. This is the main analyzer. And we can turn it on so that it operates off of battery power. And you can see the battery power indicator here it shows how much battery life we have left. There are various things in the system uh, that comes with the, the case. You have a power adapter that's labeled bridge analyzers, so you can always know which power supply is yours going to this analyzer. And then there's a plug here. This will, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. This will plug into the side over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug it into a power outlet. Provides 12 volt supply. And then when I plug it in, you'll notice a red light goes on down below. So as soon as I plug it in, the, the lowest LED comes on. That's It will come on solid red. And that means that the power has been applied and it does find the battery and we're in fact charging the battery. If that red light is blinking, it means that we're having trouble finding the battery and so it's doing a trickle charge trying to find the battery or to wake up the battery so it will be charged. If you do see it blinking, leave it plugged in and it should turn to solid red. If it never turns to solid red, you'll need to return that analyzer for us to service. So that is one way to charge the analyzer. You can, of course, run the analyzer while it's plugged in. Or we can unplug it and run it off of battery. There are two other ways that you can power the analyzer. One is using a vehicle's 12 volt supply, which used to be a cigarette lighter, has the same plug for the side, and this would just plug in here. That plugs into the 12 volt adapter, and you'll have 12 volt supply. The other method is with a battery clip. This has a socket that you would plug this plug into. Make sure that's in tight. And then you tie this to the positive and negative terminal on the battery and that will also supply 12 volts. So all these come standard with the analyzer when you purchase it. So those are the methods by which we power the analyzer. Now if we look at how to set up actual drawing the, drawing the gas, we of course have a manual in that pocket, but we also have this sample line. There are two lines, so you can join them together to make a longer line. And so when you join those together, you can get up to 10 meters. So in this case, <clears throat> what we will do is we'll attach these lure lock fittings. And you want to make sure you always have this 25 millimeter filter here and replace it if it gets dirty. That will protect the analyzer from getting moisture into the internal function of the, of the unit. So now this the other end gets attached to the compact probe. And again, it's a lure lock fitting and it just goes into the back over here. So now I have a connection from my sample probe through 
a 50 millimeter filter into a water trap through this black line and then into the analyzer here. So that's basically our gas path. This would <coughs> get put into the tailpipe and you have a spring clip here to help to hold it in. If you also need the, the benefit of a, of a chain, you can wrap the chain here and then tie it to something in the vehicle to maintain that probe inside the tailpipe. Now I'm going to show you a few things on the probe. in terms of replacing parts. So I'm just going to put this away. So on the probe, you can unscrew this water bowl like so. So this just unscrews. It's a NPT fitting. And then this will unscrew from this fitting here. And you'll want to replace these 50 millimeter filters about every couple months or so, depending on your usage. Certainly when they get dirty, there's more restriction and so you're better off replacing it. But these go on, <clears throat> basically you want to screw that in like so. attach the water bowl in a minute but here we have a water trap which will unscrew from the top manifold there's an o-ring seal up there so when you screw in these threads that top will seal against an o-ring but in here we have a smaller water trap and this comes off by pulling it off like that and you can replace this filter with a new one and it just presses on to that barb like so. Here you can get new filters but generally those don't need to be replaced. So basically we can replace that filter like so then this water bowl. You want to make sure you screw it on snug and you can feel it snug up to the o-ring. And then we can replace the water trap onto the 50 millimeter filter like so. What you want to make sure is that it's snug enough that you're not getting any air drawn in through any of those fittings because we want to pull strictly from the tailpipe. You can tie a wrench up here to make sure this is snug. Uh, this probe to the S-Bend and then that's a proper fitting right there so probe S-Bend 50 millimeter filter water trap with a filter inside and then the connection of course goes from here over to the analyzer so hopefully that gives you some ideas of basically what the various parts are that come with the analyzer the consumable items would be the 25 millimeter filter, the 50 millimeter filter, and also the water trap filter. Thank you very much.